Hey now, Petey Grizz here. How goes it? How you doing? How are you? Hope you're doing well. Anyway, today got a couple of cool old Swiss Army knives. I just got in the mail the last couple days. And uh, uh, one is a model I've had before, but it's still super cool. And one is a, a pretty, have pretty really rare model that uh, a lot of guys haven't seen. Uh, and uh, that I've been look hunting for for a while, and I am so happy to finally have one. First up here is this little guy is a black salesman. All right, thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you in the next one. PD Grizz out. Ha <laughs> ha! Just kidding. Uh, some guys say I don't show enough of the knife, but uh. I don't know what you want me to do. Like, you can only see it so many times. Uh, um, you know, if you want to see more of it, go, go buy one. But, uh, 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 we're going to make your own damn videos. And you just sit there in, in silence and hold the knife perfectly still. Um, anyway, what we got here is a mid-70s salesman. So the salesman is just the 84 millimeter version of the Super Tinker. Uh, they're highly collectible. Uh, they get a little pricey when you do find them. Uh, uh, fortunately for me, uh, I got a, an insane deal on this one. Uh, like, you know, the, it was uh, uh, mislisted. The seller clearly didn't realize that this was anything special. They just listed it as, uh, you know, vintage Swiss Army knife, no details. And I could tell right away from the pictures what it was, so I jumped all over it. So... What we got here is the black scales. It actually had red scales, of course, originally with a nickel silver shield. Unfortunately, they're busted, so uh, that's unfortunate to lose the nickel silver shield. But I do think it's quite striking in black, although this definitely shows my greasy fingerprints all over it. So what we've got in the salesman is a three layer. Got the key ring on the uh, shim instead of on the back spring. She's got the usual toothpick and the tweezers. Got that reamer. Nice little reamer. Bam. Then we've got the highly fashionable square Phillips driver with that can key. Uh, somebody asked me if, uh, you know, uh, uh, can openers were if we if and we don't if most people don't use can openers anymore i know most of my cans come with the tab on the top and you, i very rarely have to use a can opener anymore but you know in some parts of the world uh, a can opener is something you use every day and you know depending if i buy smaller quantities quantities of like vegetables they'll come in little you know old style cans that you gotta use a can opener on of course uh we have an electric can opener for that too so Anyway, got that opening layer with the cap lifter, screwdriver, and the stripping notch. Got that can opener with the great snap on it. Look at the 2D Phillips. Outstanding. Next up, we got them, bam, 84 millimeter scissors. And uh, notice something interesting here is this is the second knife I've gotten like this. Both of them dated to about the same time, you know, circa 1974, 1976, something like that. And it's the second one to have this spring, which is backwards. And looking at it, you know, it, I mean, it's hard to tell. It's, it looks, it's identical uh usually i can tell like when there are uh, replacement springs from another knife or something like that it's made exactly like the victorinox spring it's just the tip is bent in the wrong direction uh i don't know it could be a replacement uh you know it still works it doesn't work great though i'll get that replaced when i get a chance problem is uh the springs they sell now are for the newer models that have the notch in the handles which is interesting because uh, they haven't made the 84 millimeter scissors with that notch. 
but uh, they are they also fit the 74 millimeter models, which they did make up until a, a year or two ago. So that explains that. But still, you know, even in there, the uh, repair kit they sell that has a jig and it has the punch tools and has an assortment of springs, they no longer include these vintage springs in it. So basically your only option is, unless you can find somebody online to sell you a couple springs because they're not available in stores, is to ship it off to Victorinox and let them put it in for three or five bucks or whatever they charge. They'll usually do that for free though. And we've got that pen blade. I would prefer a clip blade, but you gotta take what you can get. Actually, I would prefer it to have a damn nail file. Next up, and uh, if it had a nail file, I believe that would be new, no, new, no, new, no, new. No. Now the alumnus is the sport is like a climber small with a nail file. I don't think they made a model with the uh, backside Phillips and the nail file, which is unfortunate. So we got that lovely full main blade. Still appears to have the factory edge on it. Never been resharpened. It's not sharp. It's definitely been used, but I can you can just tell when you look at them uh, when guys hand sharpen them. Usually the edge is pretty much butchered. But uh, and even then, when they've been sharpened, you will start to lose this little uh, troil down here, little V notch or whatever it is. So definitely has the factory edge on it. But she's a beaut. That is, this is actually the third salesman I've had, although I did trade off uh, my Hoffert salesman to a buddy for another knife. But salesmen's are just a great knife. This is one I carry all the time. Next up, we've got something pretty friggin' cool. So first I'll show a comparison knife. This is my uh, favorite handyman. One I use all the time. One I absolutely love. Love the emerald green scales. It has the plus configuration. So it has all those accoutrements. The uh, little. But the important thing is. This has a set of pliers. It has the metal saw. And the uh, wood saw. And it has the scissors. Uh, there was. Previous to 1985-86. In lieu of the pliers. It would have actually had the fish to scaler like a uh, Champ C or, or a Craftsman. But before that, I still don't have a, cop a version of that. I, they come up once in a while, just one hasn't come up at a reasonable price that I'm willing to spend for a knife I'm probably not going to use all that much. Before that, we had the original Handyman, and this is the original Handyman. Now, it's only five layers. It has a corkscrew and reamer. No other tools on the back. Notice it's got the Elinox style shield this dates to between uh, approximately 1968 and 1971 and let's get into it we got that five turn corkscrew so as soon as you see that in a picture you know you're dealing with a vintage model at least on victorinox um we've got that reamer can't have a knife without the reamer uh, a friend of mine actually mentioned the idea of what if you could put the 58 millimeter scissors back there and I'm looking into it. I think it could actually happen. I don't know how practical it would be with the scissors being in the middle of the back, but I, I think it would be cool. So I'm going to try it out. It actually looks lengthwise and height wise. It looks like it'll work out. It looks like the only thing would it would need a nail nick on the opposite blade to uh, to get because the way it is now the nail nick would be buried in this in the scales. So, this one's a little tight. It's getting looser, but I've had to work on it a lot. It probably hadn't been opened in 40 years or so because this thing was tight. I had to use a, 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 nick, a nick key to, to pull these tools out because they would have just ripped my thumbnails off. But they're getting better. Notice we got the can, uh, cap lifter with the uh, sharpened inner edge for uh, cable stripping along with the stripping notch and the screwdriver. Of course, we got scale tools. Can't forget the scale tools. Is this enough of it? Look, it's a knife. Wow. Oh, my God. Uh, it, what I think is funny is, uh, guys, uh, uh, they, they, get, they buy into the, the, the model names and stuff. But, and, you know, they're, 
they're it's a modular design you know it's it, you, you just add they can just make they just make what they used to just make basically every possible combination of tools and then they gradually eliminated whichever combinations didn't sell that well which is why some models like craftsman uh you know the i believe the mountaineer possibly the automobile they've gone the way of the dinosaur next uh we've got that plus pack can opener and this guy is really tight you can see that it's got wear on it here so it's uh it, it's tight it might be a little over tightened from the factory and then sitting and letting the oil harden and dry up in it over the years has made it very gummy but it's getting better i could not even open that with my fingers yesterday next up we got them 91 millimeter scissors and it's got that single leaf spring. The leaf spring's in great shape. That's another way you can tell the scissors haven't been used. When they have this single leaf spring and it's not flattened out right here, you'll notice they kind of get a, a little corn, a kink in them right by the uh, the roll pin. And uh, you know, that's where they wear out. That's why they switched to that, that uh, dual or V style leaf spring because it spreads the flex out over more areas so that one area doesn't get metal fatigue just bending over and over again but these scissors out operate uh, absolutely perfectly next up is that wood saw and uh again uh, it's still a little dirty i did clean it up but still it's got like uh this i believe is from reacting with the uh, aluminum scales which oxidize and form a white powder and uh, that's part of what causes them to gum up too, is the aluminum oxidizes, uh, basically is the effect of them getting slightly thicker, so increases the friction on the tang. But uh, to determine, uh, an easy way to determine if a model is, a early, is before, say, 1965, 66, and after is if it has a brushed surface with straight teeth, then it is certainly after into the later portion of the 60s. And if it has a polished metal, a mirror finish with angled teeth, then you know you've got one before the mid 60s. That's a little gummed up still too, but it's getting better. I just gotta work with it. Sometimes it just takes some elbow grease. I just trimmed my damn nails, so now they're just too short to grab the nicks. Here we've got the early version of the metal saw. Notice that it does not have the tip uh, the nail cleaning tip, they just did the cross cut all the way to the end. It's basically the same as the uh, the second version that would come on like uh, the Swiss Champs with the gray housing and whatnot. And then later they went to a stainless steel uh, file with, with much, much coarser uh, cross cuts in it. But very cool. Now we've got the main blade. And by now you're probably thinking, hey... Isn't that just a ranger? And uh, it, it, pretty much so far, it's the exact same tool set as a ranger. Uh, notice it's got the cool Elinox with William Tell's crossbow, the uh, folk Swiss hero, uh, Swiss folk hero. <laughs> uh, the crossbow is a symbol of him, of Swiss pride, and uh, of, of you know Swiss history. And then on the back, we've got that teeny tiny, teensy tiny four line tank stamp that I believe uh, was used on some knives up till about 73. I could be wrong there. I think that's a 52 to 53 or 57 to 53 tank stamp. I didn't really look before I did start this video. Next up, we have the coup de gras. Bam! That is a technician screwdriver. This is a, a rare tool on Swiss Army knives. There are no models currently made with it. They have the back fine screwdriver, which I guess just eliminated the need for this. Problem is that back T screwdriver, you know, is going to limit the places you can get into. Uh, as an electrician, a technician screwdriver is generally for doing terminals on like contactors and stuff like that. It's where you have a lot of fine screwdrivers doing electronic work and stuff like that. Hence the term technician screwdriver. And, uh, Usually they're going to be in a box or housing or something, and there may be uh, electrical, uh, 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 you know, 
uh, terminals around that you don't want to have your hands near. You don't want to risk touching or shorting something out. So having that reach is excellent. <clears throat> Pardon me. And uh, this, I believe, was only on three models. Uh, the, uh, the automobile and uh, the variations of that, automobile special, luxury automobile, but all, basically the automobile came with this. Uh, which I could see that being useful in automotive things, uh, working on like distributors or something like that. And then we've also got the, uh, the, the, the elusive and rare engineer, which is, I believe, is basically like a scientist. It has the magnifying glass layer, but in lieu of either a combo tool or a clip blade, it has the engineer screwdriver or technician screwdriver. I guess that's, that's what would make that an engineer. That's a model uh, I'm probably going to have to make. I think I could make this out of a clip blade. Let's see if i got a clip blade nearby. If you notice, the profile of it is very close to a clip blade. So this clip blade is a little shorter, but it's actually very close to a full-size clip blade. This one has had the tip repaired, but it's basically made from the stock of a clip blade, and then they just didn't do the grind on it. They left it, you know, mostly full width. It's got a much more subtle grind where the clip blade gets a little more narrow, but this angle here is almost the same as a clip blade, and then this is just cut out and, you know, with, with the tip on it. But this is the 7236 NAU uh, 236 would be a, a Huntsman configuration. That means it has a scissors and a wood saw on a Spartan tool set. And uh, two would designate having a corkscrew. Uh, three is the opening layer. And six is the scissors and saw. And then you get the M for metal saw, the A for scale tools, and the U for bale or key ring. So the seven at the beginning designates the uh, technician screwdriver. So anyway, that is my handyman, my salesman, my salesman, and my handyman. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peter Greaves, out.